just want to capture that moment in time for just a moment. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, the time puns were coming out furiously this afternoon. Senate Bill 320 passed unanimously out of the Senate Committee on Business and General Government with strong support on the Senate floor and House Committee on Rules. I want to thank the good representative from Springfield, uh, my co-carrier and, and uh, co-chief sponsor for his commitment to keeping this bill moving forward. After the 2018 time change, I don't know what happened, but people got grouchy. And I received a ton of calls and emails from people upset about the time change and asked me if I would do something about it. After further research and with great leadership from the Senator from Kaiser, we proposed SB 320, which will keep Oregon on daylight saving time permanently. Now this is also consistent with our neighboring states, Washington and soon California. And on your desk, uh, your, uh, floor letter from OPB, it's an article. Washington became the first West Coast state to switch, uh, to ditch the switch just about, uh, just short of a month ago. In fact, Governor Inslee's signature put the state on this coordinated, loosely coordinated West Coast movement. And now California, by the way, was next. California's assembly, which is their house, passed at 77 and nothing, I believe, was a number. And their Senate is moving next. So all three states on the West Coast, including, I just found out recently, British Columbia, reached out and asked me uh, some information. So we sent them the information. It looks like British Columbia is going to join this. And also, as pointed out in this OPB article, Governor Kate Brown enthusiastically supports the idea, quote, unquote. Now, the, there is also, for your information, if you're curious about how this would affect sunrises on OLIS under the meeting materials on Senate Bill 320, there is a chart that goes from Lincoln City to Burns on when sunrise would be each month from November through February with this permanent change. So um, that's the main parts that I wanted to tell you about today. I'm excited to bring this to you. Uh, we'll have a West Coast block in Oregon, Washington, and California, and perhaps British Columbia that will stay on permanent daylight savings time, and you won't have to fall back next November if this can move on through. So I appreciate your I vote, and thank you for your time.